Hey guys, how's it going? Um, once this video is once again going to be 15 minutes long. Um, this time, for good reason though. Um, like other than you know, I just want to make you know money off of it. But um, actually, that was never the reason in the first place. That was just me joking around. Um, the uh, the reason is, and this is a really lame thing, is that I was. Uh, they falsely identified me for one of my Battlefield 3 videos. Was falsely identified as having a copyright claim, and they revoked my right to have 15-minute long, longer than 15-minute uh, videos. So I'm in the process of disputing it, and it won't be a problem. Like it's not like it's gonna get um, it's gonna get fixed. But for now, I can only upload 15 minutes. So you're stuck with uh, that for now. I don't think it's too much of a problem, though, to be honest. I think it's, uh... I'll build some of these. I don't think it's too much of a problem. It'll only be a little while. And a few parts that are 15 minutes long won't be a really uh, detriment. Now, we're still at war over here, so i got to remember that. We need to win these sieges. Let me see. Alright, alright. Oh, come on. We gotta win these sieges. We're winning the one in Khuzestan pretty quickly. And the one in Ajam is going well, is, is also going well. Purge actually won a war with Khorasan, so they might send some troops uh, this way now. Really? Really? Ugh, I don't even have any men to... You go there, then you go back. Alright. I don't have any men in theater. What? Yeah, I don't have any men in theater to really deal with that. But, um, our cores, we, we now have cores on most of our empires. So that's a good thing. I just clicked on that. Ugh. Granada, really? They should know that we're coming for them soon. Or, I wasn't actually planning on going for them anytime soon. I mean, I w eventually, yeah, but they weren't on the uh, chopping block. But now they are. You know, that's, um, in anyone who sends that many spies. Ooh. Another conversion. So you can go all the way from the Caspian Sea and t from to the uh, Atlantic Ocean and never leave a province where people are orthodox. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But, if you look at this, everyone hates us. Georgia, Swahili, Russia, and Transylvania are the only people who actually kind of like us. Um, and if you look at this... Everyone hates us. Actually, the people who hate us hate us most are a lot of, um, you know, European people. We're probably the most hated. What's his name? Uh, Thomas Apokaus is probably the most hated person in all of Europe, or probably the entire world. But I'm looking for the number one nation. It said we're number four, so who's number one? Sometimes it's really stupid about who's actually number one. Like these guys. These guys are number two. They're not number two. There's no way they could stand up to us. Dutch Asia. That's huge. You know it's crazy when your uh, Asian holdings are bigger than your European than your European holdings, and your capital is in Europe. That's pretty crazy. All right. Ah, General died. That's not good. He shouldn't have been in the army, though. He should have been on rest in a... You know, on the screen. He should have been in here. Resting. You go there. And you go... There. And you guys go to... No, you guys. All you navies go to there. Foonge now hates us. They used to be friends with us. You know... Send him a gift for old time's sake. Angus had nothing better to do. We'll hopefully win this siege pretty soon. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's a strong uh, Persian army. But they're so technologically behind us that it's not even going to matter. Revolt in Moose, in, in Mus. Alright, so you guys go there, then there. And then there. 
That's a long ways away. They're going to Semnon, so we will go there with them to hopefully fight them there. Now we have five ships here now, I think. All right, so someone was annexed. Let me see that in a second. I will look at that, right? Come on, come on, combine. I think it was Hess. Yeah, Hess is going bigger and bigger and bigger. And they've got cores on some people as well. Um, if I didn't exist, like if the Roman Empire wasn't here, I would put my bets on them for forming the king Kingdom of Germany. I think that'd be the most likely. And still, someone said um, in the comments, he removed his comments, so I don't know who it was, but um, he said, why is it weird that the Inca are the Holy Roman Emperor? Well, first off, the Holy Roman Empire originally was, if you know about, if you know the uh, history behind it, it was uh, Charlemagne. Um, he was the Holy Roman Emperor, and he split the um, his empire. He split his empire among his. I think it was like his. Th anyway, uh, he split his empire among his three sons that cre that created three different empires. Uh, France, Germany, and Lothringa, I believe, were the names of the... I can't pronounce the uh, last one, but it was France, Germany, and, like, Lothringa. E either way, um, he created this empire, and um, he called it the Holy Roman Empire. It was, you know, that that's what he called it. So you can't really call anything outside of Charlemagne's old empire, the HRE, because that's where... It was originally or something. I mean, it could always expand. It could expand, but like, it could expand within Europe. It couldn't expand to the, the Inca. That's just completely crazy. Um, it's really just, I suppose that, I said it was impossible um, that it could happen. I suppose it's not impossible. It is conceivably possible. But you gotta remember that there are things that are conceivably possible and things that are plausibly possible. And that is most certainly not plausibly possible. Now hopefully we win this battle, come on. Gain Coron Algrave, all right, so we got a Coron Spain now. All right, we should arrive there before them. Actually, yeah. Oop, yeah, we gained the Reconquest cost of Spain on Spain. So we'll do that very soon, probably. Oh, we also, yeah, we also have, a, also have a core here, which we'll take advantage of at some point. I'll get to, I'll get around to that. I think I'm just gonna forget chairs. And someone said, "Man up and stop being scared of, scared of Russia." Um, no, Russia's scary. Russia's very scary. Um, they are a terrifying country to face off against, and I'm really not in the uh, not in any kind of position to really face off against them. They're expanding deep into Asia, so I guess good for them, but. Yeah, Russia is scary beyond all belief. So, um, no, I will not stop being scared of them. And the only reason they're scary is just because, like, if you look at their army, I believe. We can look at it here. They have an army of 273,000, and they can, uh, put a lot more men into a theater at once than I can. Because they don't have to worry about being stabbed in the back. I can't pull these men away from here because Bohemia, or Hesse, or England, or Denmark, or someone could just completely um, take me over while I'm off fighting a war against Russia. You know, it's, um, otherwise I'd love to be, I'd love to be able to fight, to be able to fight Russia, but I just wouldn't feel safe. No, our diplomat died. Come on, let's uh, hire a new one in a second, once the game loads. There we go. We gotta hire a new one. Commission some paintings. Without that, we can't be as liberal with our uh, conquering as, as we've been. We've been really liberal in our conquering. We've just um, taken over everything This everything the second we see it, because we have so much infamy to burn. But we can't do that anymore without, a, without an advisor that brings down our infamy. Actually, it goes down by a lot either way. Go figure. But I want to get a, I want to get a good um, advisor either way. Oh right, yeah, this guy. 
And someone mentioned who Rousseau was. Uh, thank you for mentioning that. I don't remember. Uh, he was some kind of uh, philosopher, which I figured that much, but they, you know, they gave me a little more uh, information on him. He's not there anymore, so I can't hire him, but oh well. But I just had to get Voltaire. I mean, I, I love Voltaire's work. Um, he's a great, a great uh, philosopher in my mind. Let me see. My war score against them is pretty high, so let's see what I can get. get that, 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 that. No, okay. Ah, just that. That'll do. And a lot of money. Yep, that'll do. It's not a lot of money, but it's a decent bit of money. Oh, and revoke a bunch of cores. All right. All right, that'll do. All right. And yeah, they revoked, they revoked some pores, so now they don't have as much land on me that they could take. And our borders look a little bit nicer, so that's good. You go there. Now what? Now what do we do? I can't decide what to do now. Um, I want to go to war with France, but I mean, uh, the Flanders won't declare peace with them. I'm half tempted to go to, to go to war with Flanders and France just to um, get that province from them. Now let's see here. Who's Spain allied with? Denmark, or Anhalt, Granada, Milan, Portugal, Netherlands, Denmark. It's doable. I think we might do that then. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Actually, I think I'll just wait till next time because I'm almost out of time, and I'll just uh, let this. Well, no, I'll uh, I'll do it soon. I'll do it in a minute. Let me just get these guys all together. Get you together. Take you guys all the way to. I want to get them there. No, no. I want to get them there without ever going into open ocean because cogs are pretty weak. Or transport vessels, rather. Yeah, you guys, let's go all the way to, to Mac. There we go. And that should do us fairly well. You were losing over three infamy per year. That's pretty good. I am not complaining about that at all. Anyway, let me save real quick. And we will... Go to war against Spain and conquer these two provinces, most likely. The one we have a core on and Madrid, forcing them out of... Oh, it's not Madrid, is it? Is it Madrid? Let me see. It is Madrid, okay. I couldn't remember if that was their um, capital or not, because I know that Toledo is the capital of uh, Castile. So you need to go here. Take a leader. And you get him. Okay. Alright. Declare war. Uh, imperialism or reconquest. Go imperialism. Alright. So, Songhai. Except, except a peace with Spain. No one else joined them. Okay, it's just us in Spain. Just us in Spain. Alright. Yeah, we'll beat them there. Luxembourg has warned us. Uh, like, they're really a threat. Where is Luxembourg? Luxembourg is right there. They're not really a threat. Um, I'm not too worried about them. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about them at all, actually. They're quite uh, weak. Alright, now we just gotta wait this out. Oh, sweet. Two conversions in one month. Or in one day. And this is a pretty weak fortress, so maybe we can kill them off all here. Yep, and then bring this army over here. And I would love, I would love to bring my navy over to America and maybe take a few American provinces, but uh, then I'd have to leave an army over there and all that kind of thing. You know, I mean, all those kind of things. I'd have to put an army over there, deal with that. Um... 
And you know they don't even have much to take anyway. But I'm out of time. So as always, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks.